hey guys good day to everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is hilda l brown and uh, last time i posted a video of an alien looking baby forgive me for using that term alien looking baby that is because in my community millions of people have never seen a baby like that okay and the baby exhibits features or rather the baby had features of what we usually see on aliens on the tv okay so people were so shocked and they did not know how to describe the baby they thought it was an extra terrace all right guys so i'm going to just um explain the health condition of that baby and also educate my community about this health condition all right guys so this baby have a health condition known as anencephaly. Anencephaly is a serious birth defect in which a baby is born without a major part of the brain and the skull. Okay? So this is how anencephalic babies look like. Usually the forebrain is not covered okay it is a very rare condition and it exists in other parts of the world in the united states one in four thousand six hundred babies is born with anencephaly and it can happen to anyone hereditary is not necessarily a factor here most at times children who are born with this condition usually have no body in the family they have no trait of this in their family but it happens that is to tell us that it can be caused by many different external factors that have nothing to do with your um, um, genes also so there are many causes of anencephaly the very first cause which is the most fre frequent cause is insufficient folic acid if your folic acid is not sufficient before pregnancy or during the early stages of pregnancy you might have some problems with your baby there are many birth defects it can be an encephaly as well as other birth defects that is why most at times when you are planning to have a baby they will tell you to start taking folic acid or in the early stage of your pregnancy you can also start taking it then the second cause of this can be a genetic disorder that is a change in the genes or the chromosome it is rare but it is also one of the causes it can also be caused by some environmental factors especially um what the mother of the baby eats and drink you understand the kind of medication she she consumes that is why when you are pregnant or when you want to plan a pregnancy it is better to talk with your healthcare uh, uh, professional just to explain your situation to him or her and also tell them um what kind of medication you are taking for whatever reason whether you are sick or not i'm saying this because patients like um, diabetic patients sometimes when their diabetic condition is not well controlled too much high sugar can also affect the baby development another um, cause is obesity before you get pregnant you have to make sure your weight is normal i mean your body mass index should be very okay i know this is difficult because some people are naturally fat and they cannot reduce or they cannot lose weight but it is always better to to talk with your your doctor so that he will find ways for you to to like um, take care of yourself better for the sake of the child okay and if you have any of this condition the doctors are going to pay attention to you more. They will do more frequent checkups so that if at all there is any abnormality, 
they will know what to do or they will inform you for you to make your own decision whether you want to terminate the pregnancy or not okay there are some women when they are pregnant also they take opiates okay opiates there are different kinds it can be methadone heroin morphine tramadol you know all those things when you consume them during the first two months of pregnancy it can cause birth defect such as anencephaly so we have to be careful with what we consume when we want to have a baby okay guys so those are the causes of anencephaly well as i told you it can be diagnosed during the early stages of pregnancy during your prenatal test or checkup and during an ultrasound the doctor will see this or through your your blood um, your blood control okay there are going to be some abnormalities that will show that your baby has a birth defect okay so let's talk about treatment can we actually treat an encephaly no there is just no cure or treatment for an encephaly and almost all babies with an encephaly die after few days some die just within hours some stay up to three days and the longest period of time that an an encephalic baby has lived is uh, up to 28 months 28 months okay guys so this condition is really really serious we should do everything to prevent um having babies with this condition because usually they don't live long what is the essence of keeping the baby when the baby will just stay for few days after birth and die you understand so how can we prevent this by taking at least 400 micrograms of folic acid before and during pregnancy Another way to prevent it is to stop taking opiates such as tramadol, heroin, morphine, and the rest. Even if you are in serious pain or you are having a serious headache, whatever medication you want to take, inform your doctor first, okay? Also, you have to avoid saunas and, um, how do they say it? A hot tub. And um, also, you have to avoid having temperatures. Even if you are having just a fever over 39 degrees, you have to see your doctor immediately, okay? Because um, during that early stages of pregnancy, when the baby is still developing, high temperatures usually affect their development. So you have to be very careful. Also, if you are a diabetic patient, right from um, the moment that you start planning to to get pregnant you have to inform your doctor so that he or she will help you to stabilize your sugar level before you get pregnant if at all you are pregnant without knowing you have to go very fast to the hospital so that they can help you um, go through this journey okay it is safer when they start the checkup and the control at the beginning okay the first two months of the baby's life is very very important that is where a lot of things goes wrong do not stay at home for six months then you go to the hospital when the baby is already six months when you go there a lot of development has been done already the baby is not developing any part anymore the baby is formed already so it is very crucial for you to go to the hospital at the beginning of your pregnancy okay my sisters okay my sisters from my community please 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 i know in africa people don't even have money to go for for checkups in the early stages of pregnancy yes i understand that but please we are civilized now and we know a lot of um, disadvantages okay the baby i named um alien looking i feel like if the mother had been going for prenatal checkups ultrasound and uh, you know all those checkups in the blood and everything maybe the doctors would have diagnosed her of this um and then some of these babies during checkups 
the, the doctors don't see it. I don't know if it is because of the machine they are using or it is um, a kind of misinterpretation from the, the part of the doctors, but sometimes they don't see it. They don't see that condition, but most of the times it is seen. Okay, it is seen before even four months. They, they, they will see it. So, guys, that is it. Now, let's talk about our sister who gave birth to this baby. How can we help her? I, for one, I know that she is traumatized. Because the first time that I saw that picture, I bowed down my head and I could not open my eyes again. I was afraid to look at the picture. Unfortunately, I cannot put that picture on YouTube. I mean, like the original picture without blurring it. Because uh, YouTube is going to restrict the video in many areas. So it's not going to help me. So I'm just saying the picture is really frightening. And uh, I know she is traumatized because of that. No woman wants to have a baby like that. So we need to help her. A friend of mine and I myself, we have decided to help this woman. But then we don't have her contact. So guys, I'm calling on everyone. If you know this woman or you know someone who knows her, please try to get her contact and send it to me via my Facebook um, messenger. Okay? I have the same name there. My Facebook name is Hilda L. Brown. Go to messenger and send the contact to me okay guys we think that this woman needs a psychologist or a therapist in Cameroon to help her get over the shock I said in Cameroon because the therapist will use a broad knowledge or a broad range of cultural informed and culturally sensitive practices to help improve the well-being of the mother we need someone in Cameroon who really understands the environment and how people are looking at this woman and the kind of things they, mo they are saying, okay? Because if you look at the first video that I posted concerning this condition, I explain it in a local way. That is how they think they. That is how even the people who took the video were thinking. When they sent that video to me, when I looked at it, that's exactly what they were talking about the woman herself who gave birth to this child she was so shocked and according to her maybe she, she she thought that the scammer had something to do with it because they asked her who is the father she was say it's a scammer or oh, a scammer oh, she was crying and calling the name of his scammer okay so if it is a scammer then maybe i mean that is what um, diverted the mind of everyone um towards uh, a, a mystical kind of thing you understand Okay, but now that we know the real reason why that child had that look, we want to help that woman, okay? We need her to see a therapist who is going to help prevent distress in the mother's life and also help the mother to, to function better. And we need money for that. So please, if anyone has the, the phone number of this woman, send it to me, okay? We want to see if she can get past that situation and also start a new life and see how she can support herself. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to put a little picture that will explain this condition because I've explained a lot in words, but maybe there are some people who still do not um, understand. Okay. I'm so on the right hand side of this picture, you see a fully developed brain of a newborn baby the red part on that picture is the brain stem and the fully developed brain is what you see in pink now on the left hand side you see the brain stem but now when it comes to the brain you don't see enough of it okay that's because a major part of the brain did not develop and now part of the skull also is not there if you see the skull line that is the score line for a normal baby. But on this picture on the left hand side, it is missing. That is an, an, an encephalic baby's skull. That is how it looks like. So maybe this picture is going to help you. All right, guys. That is an underdeveloped brain on the left hand side. 
so guys that's what i have for you today i hope it's going to um help you and help my sisters back there in cameroon especially boya so guys thank you all for always being with me and um, see you next time please do not forget to subscribe bye, -bye.